welcome to the official course on ML for 3D, where you'll learn what's going on, why it matters, and how to do it yourself. My name is Dylan, also known as Individual Kex. Here are my credentials. And as we go through this course, if you have any questions or want to engage with the community, join the Hugging Face Discord, part one. What's going on? As you may know, in recent years, there's been sort of a tipping point in ML, specifically in the domains of language and vision. But when it comes to 3D, we haven't really reached that tipping point. We seem to be really close, with new research coming out almost every day. This can be really overwhelming, especially since there's very little consistency in what 3D even means. With new research usually presenting these pre-rendered videos, but how did they get this video? Is it a mesh, a splat, a nerf, multi-view diffusion? What do any of those things even mean? In this course, I'll be walking you through all of it, painting a broader picture of 3D ML as a whole, as well as taking you step by step through how to set up your own generative 3D demo. Part 2. Why does it matter? 3D is everywhere, from games to movies to retail. And as we've seen with 2D, ML can be an extremely useful tool. And if you're taking this course, then that's probably already pretty obvious. But something that's less obvious is the importance of 3D in AI in general. Many researchers support the claim that in order to achieve general intelligence, AI needs to be grounded to the 3D world. But how do we ground to the 3D world? How do we even represent the 3D world? This remains to be seen. But whether you're an ML practitioner wanting to push the frontier of AI, or a 3D practitioner who just wants to be up to speed with the latest tools, or if you don't even know why you're here, then this is the course for you. Part 3. How to do it yourself. Before we get started, there are some things that will be useful to be at least somewhat familiar with. These are Git, Python, Blender, and the Hugging Face Hub. If you aren't familiar with all of these, don't worry, you can still follow along. And by the end of this course, you'll have a better understanding of ML for 3D, and you'll have built your own generative 3D demo. 